Hey guys, it's Erica here and thank you so much for clicking onto this video. Today we are here on no other than Moon Cove. If you guys remember, I visited this island back in 2020 when Animal Crossing first came out. Two years later, I decided to check out this island again. This island blew up on my channel when I toured it and I am really just curious to see how this island looks two years later. Let's look at the map. Already I'm seeing such a huge difference. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the map guys. Okay, so here are the residents pretty much pretty much have the similar theme going on over here. It's black, white, a little bit of purple. Um, and it looks like there's a bit of a change with the layout. And again, the dream address will be listed down below in the description box. But wow, guys. Okay, so this island, it was set at night back when I toured this island and now it is the daytime. Um, this island is set during the day. I don't know if this is done on purpose or not, but I feel like it could be. It could very well be on purpose, but now that this island is set during the day, I can really, really see everything clearly. Wow, this is so, so beautiful. Back then, back in 2020, this island was actually, um... It had a lot of white actually not black it had a lot of white elements and now we see a ton more black furniture pieces we also have black roses here planted but yeah um this is so so stunning nonetheless but yeah a lot of different changes do you hear the piano in the background yeah um wow a lot of black tulips black roses and as you guys can see the black roses and tulips any black flower in animal crossing is actually very rare and um kind of difficult to cultivate so um again this is already a lot of effort on the creator's part wow but who knows this could be um preparation for the fall not sure here's ta oh okay perfect so here's tasha and she said boo okay just like i thought this island is actually preparing for spooky season for halloween so that's cool this is actually quite updated so that is really really cool um meaning that this island is possibly very very up to date it is september as i'm recording this but October is right around the corner. So I do love to visit islands that are getting prepared for a new season. I do love it when I see a bit of a change here and there. But yeah, okay, so guys, this island is getting ready for a spooky season. Ooh, okay, so we do have a burial site. A little graveyard i bet it looks really cool at night though to be honest a little spooky but yeah so that's really cool i do love how we can see everything clearly during the day though um that does help kind of see what kind of items the creator uses see what designs they use as well and then over here it looks like we have a really cool outdoor garden area or a planetarium so beautiful guys look at this again all black furniture so if the creator did this specifically for october or halloween i mean the effort that this creator has put is incredible i mean you gotta buy all this furniture um or customize it which could be easier and faster but a little bit more pricey but you can customize the items instead of buying all new ones that is a beautiful outdoor cafe we do have this black pathway all along the shore as you can see and this is on the whole entire island here's the pier again super beautiful i love it when creators decorate the pier it's a wonderful way to also put kind of random items too that you don't really know where to put. 
That's also a really great way to do that. Ooh. Okay, I do love how she customized these. Super beautiful. Wow. But yeah, really, really cool how this has turned so, so differently. Wow. Beautiful. So stunning. Yeah. A ton of changes for sure from the previous island. But let's go over to the residence home, actually. I completely didn't even think about that. But let's go up to the residence home. And all of the residence homes are placed in the back of the island, which again is so convenient. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, are you team, you know, kind of placing them all around the island? I don't know. I think I'm team putting all the villagers home in one area, to be honest. Very, very beautiful. Again, we do have the reoccurring theme of the black lanterns here. And I do hear the piano throughout the island in little areas as well which is really nice and here is the creator's home so let's go ahead and take a look wow okay so we have the tv actually right above the entrance or right above the door as you can see over there very beautiful again we do have that same music playing in the home as it is playing outside Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, so if you are a fan of dark rooms or dark furniture pieces or just a dark theme to an interior, this is amazing inspiration. This is beautiful. Love the painting. Wait, is that a painting? Yeah, love the painting up above over there. And then this bathtub, oh my gosh. I'm so used to seeing an all white bathroom. And this is just very refreshing to see. I love seeing different, just different themes and different designs that creators use for their island. This is so stunning. I also love how the candles are perched here. Ooh. Wow, I love that. Got some diffusers here. Oh my gosh, I could probably fall asleep in this bathroom if it was real. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen and it's not giving cottage core <laughs> i know i'm so used to touring islands that are very cottage core theme grandma core or you know that kind of a theme um but this is beautiful we have a lovely kitchen island over here and then we have this small stove heating up a teapot and yeah it's very small and quaint and simple but it also gives a very kind of modern touch as well because a lot of the furniture pieces do look pretty modern here. All right, ooh, okay, and this is hmm, an office? Yeah, I think this could be an office to be honest. Again, we do have the similar theme of the dark furniture pieces. We also have very dark wooden brown floor over here, which is really cool lovely rose flower beds again this could be very well a reoccurring theme because it's spooky season it's halloween like it's coming up right so this could be partially because of that maybe she totally redid her home because she wanted that theme all right okay so here we are in the bedroom it looks like super spacious of course i'm such a fan of the bed that we're on right now and also the moon furniture piece and also this lovely couch again these are all from the sanrio collaboration with animal crossing so i am a huge fan of those specific furniture pieces um and i'm actually a really big fan of this specific furniture for bedrooms, to be honest. I think it just adds that cozy vibe. And of course, we cannot miss it. We do have a ton of the villagers' uh, photos all around. <laughs> 
all around the bedroom which honestly i'd probably do this as well i just genuinely need to get their photos <laughs> um so i need to make that a mission to be honest oh my gosh i love the sound of this machine too all right so here is the last room and we are in the basement it's such a bougie basement honestly <laughs> Um, this could be the guest room, to be honest. I do see a bed over here. Um, a lot of the furniture pieces also match as well. This wardrobe is also very nice. A dark vanity as well, our dark brown wooden vanity. And we do have the cafe wallpaper all around this, uh, room as well, which of course adds light into the room. Um, even though it is a wallpaper, quote unquote, um, it still does add a nice kind of light into the room. So it's not, a, you know, your typical basement. It's super, super nice, well lit up and yeah, super nice. All right. So that was the creator's home. Super beautiful. And there's Roscoe. Roscoe always scares me. It's the red eyes for me <laughs> that freak me out, but Roscoe is cute. Um, but yeah, the crater's home, so beautiful. I am so stunned by this island. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. The infamous statue that a lot of people <laughs> found funny, which honestly I also found funny too. When I looked back, I was like, my reaction is priceless. <laughs> um, but yeah, so still such a beautiful place. I'd love to eat here. Oh my gosh, imagine this place at night though. The eerie vibes that this island would bring with. Actually, you know what? I feel like the furniture pieces would actually blend in in the night. Um, so yeah, but super beautiful. The Able Sister Shop. Let's go all the way up here. Wow, this is stunning. And you have a wonderful view of the island overlooking the island. It's so beautiful. So yeah, this is a coffee shop or tea shop. We have some magazines or newspapers over here. It's beautiful, it's stunning. And it's also such a beautiful day that the creator put this island to. But yeah, this is so, so different actually from what I remember. Just a totally different vibe. But again, I believe it's because it's spooky season. People are getting ready for Halloween on their island. And this is a very classy, classy way to do it. Again, incorporating a lot of neutral tones, incorporating a lot of black furniture pieces as well is super nice. But the effort that she put in this is incredible. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then here we are at Nook's Cranny. Let's go ahead, go all the way over here, turn the corner. And here we are at Nook's Cranny. So again, super stunning, beautiful, um, very symmetrical. Again, this whole island is symmetrical, but the great thing about that is that it's so easy to navigate. Oh my goodness. Um, I love cottagecore islands just as much as symmetrical ones, but that is a huge win for symmetrical islands is that it's just so easy to navigate, especially for visitors. Oh my goodness. Beautiful EV flag there. It's so cute. So Tasha could be a huge fan of Pokemon. But yeah, this island is stunning, guys. Absolutely stunning. But yeah, the creator did an absolutely incredible job of truly making this kind of spooky, if you will, but in a classy way. So yeah, that is it for this island, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did enjoy this because honestly, I haven't been back to this island in two years. I really hope you guys enjoyed this island tour of moon cove i will see you guys again in my next video very very soon bye